The following program contains products that some viewers may find amazing. Viewer participation and supporting of local businesses is strongly advised. Hey Ottawa, welcome to Operation Support Local Presents Showstoppers. That's right, a special edition around the holidays and this is in collaboration with Catherine Landry's SheShopsLocal.ca. We are highlighting some of the amazing women-owned local businesses here in the Ottawa region and we are at the Alpha Art Gallery located at 531 Sussex Drive. Just a beautiful space. If you have somebody on your, on your list that's an art lover, I really encourage you to come down here and enjoy. And I mentioned Showstoppers. I'll tell you all about that as we head through the show. But let me introduce you to our first guest of the day. I am joined by Jasmine Hickman. She is the owner and maker of MJ Hickman Designs. Welcome to the show, Jasmine. Hi. Great to have you here. Thanks first for time me. on TV. It is. Hey, it this is. is exciting, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. So, who, okay, I know who the J is in MJ Designs. Who is the, who's the, who's the M? So the M is my husband, Mark. Okay. Yeah, he is a great uh, asset to me, <laughs> not just as my husband, uh -huh. but as um, a helper in my business as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, tell me about your business. Yeah. So MJ Hickman Designs was started in 2017. It was a fluke, actually. It really? was started. Yeah, it was started um, just as a, a way to kind of keep myself entertained after having my son. Okay. <laughs> You have two uh, little ones, I right? do, I do. A five-year-old daughter, Ava, and a, a three-year-old son, Ezra. So they're awesome. God bless you. You're a busy lady. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I started MJ Hickman Designs uh, based off of just wanting to keep myself busy with, with them. And um, it just turned into a thing. It just it blossomed. So what did you start with? What, what was the, some of the first things you started so designing? So we originally started with painted and vinyl wood signs. Okay. Mark, my husband, would go into our garage and do all of the wood cutting for me and I would do all of the painting and it was a tag team uh, adventure for us and now nice. it just kind of blossomed into doing almost everything imaginable. So are you self-taught? Like, how did you learn these skills? Absolutely. So I uh, self-taught myself the, the painting, the woodwork. Um, we ended up this year uh, getting a laser cutter. And nice. that was a huge learning curve. And I self-taught myself how to use that too. And uh, I just put all of my energy into whatever I do. And so... I make it successful. <laughs> so what platform then are you using to, to sell your products? We use so many different platforms. Okay. So we are on Facebook and uh, we are very much involved in our community groups along with Catherine Landry, uh, She Shops Local um, and her Ladies Who Lunch group. Yeah. We have had so much success with, with uh, her help uh, advertising our products. We're on Etsy. You can find us by searching MJ Hickman Designs on Etsy. I was on your Etsy site, and um, the reviews, by the way, are incredible. <laughs> no, really. I mean, everybody is so pleased with, uh, you know, with your, your beautiful design. So uh, before we run out of time, let's talk about some of the beautiful designs. So walk me through some of the pieces you brought along here today. So we have some of just a little bit of that we, that we are carrying this Christmas. Uh, our huge seller is our ornaments. Uh, so we have some really awesome, funny ones for 2020, <laughs> just to kind of make light of what has been happening this year. The Pure Hell one. The Pure Hell one. Yeah. Yes, uh, a little bit of a, a twist on that one. We you have, and your husband obviously have a bit of a cheeky sense of humor, which I love. We do, we do. <laughs> and it's one of our biggest sellers, I can for imagine. Sure. Yeah, I love the uh, wooden toilet paper rolls that you have, Yes, too. yeah. 2020, crappiest. Crappiest year yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you can get any toilet paper. <laughs> okay, so we have some of our ornaments. We have uh, designed some for teachers. We do a lot of custom work. So okay. you can come to us with uh, a design and we are able to make that design happen. We use wood, we use acrylic. Uh, we use a method called sublimation as well. Very cool. What's this uh, up front here? With, I see the word dad there, being yeah. a dad that caught my eye. So this is called a docking station or a nightstand valet. So this, is, can, this can go onto your nightstand table. It's a great gift for mom, dad, brother, sister, whomever. 
and it holds your cell phone, your watch, your rings, your wallet, change. It's just a great organization um, uh, product yes, that yeah, you can it's use. It's fantastic, yeah, For absolutely. Sure. Uh, what else do we have up front here? So we do have one of our biggest sellers as well this year is our monogram signs. So these are, um, they are really great for gift giving, uh, for your home, for your office. You can put your first name, last name. We just love selling these. And nice. that's so, so uh, rewarding to see them hang, uh, put up into your home. Yeah, absolutely. For I want to sure. come to your showstopper here because yeah. I understand these are selling like hotcakes. Tell me about your showstopper here. Today. Oh, goodness. So we uh, had these up uh, for about a week before we sold them out. <laughs> we are, yes, we do have them in stock again. Uh, these are uh, door hangers for... Uh, an alternative to a, a wreath, a, a wreath, Christmas yeah, wreath. That's a, it's a fantastic idea. Yeah, so you it. can customize it uh, with your last name or a, a holiday saying. Um, it comes with a bow. We have different options for them. It's a great little alternative to that traditional wreath. Uh, you didn't bring it along today or uh, because you're so selling out of them like crazy. She yes. will have more, though, so nobody <laughs> panic out there. But tell me about the beer and wine trees that have been selling really well. Absolutely. So this year, it seems like everybody just wants an advent calendar for adults. Right. So we created an advent calendar that holds mini size wine bottles, as well as um, regular size cans of uh, beer or cider. Excellent. And uh, they are available. It comes in 24, uh, 24 day calendars or 12 day calendars. We also have the uh, coffee pods. If you aren't a drinker, <laughs> yeah. you can use it for coffee as well. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Where can people find you on online? What's the best way? So the best way to find me online is by contacting us on Facebook, MJ Hickman Designs. Uh, Etsy, you can go to our Etsy shop, MJ Hickman Designs. We're also on Instagram. And you can uh, get in contact with us any of those ways. Terrific. Well, thanks for bringing all these beautiful pieces. Really appreciate it. I want to remind everybody of our showstopper. It is the Let It Snow door hanger sled. It is selling so well. Of course, all of the showstoppers will be on the bottom of your screen as we go through the entire show. So keep an eye on those. And you can head over to sheshopslocal.ca to find out about this product and all the products we've been highlighting as our showstoppers. We're head over to Tyler Keeley right now to play a little music for us. I put you on my list This year for Christmas There's nothing I want to get I just want to get back in your arms
and enjoying a special edition of Operation Support Local presents Showstoppers in collaboration with SheShopsLocal.ca. And of course, uh, those showstoppers, they'll be at the bottom of the screen scrolling along and we'll introduce you to our next showstopper in just a moment. But I want to mention also that we are at Alpha Art Gallery, a beautiful spot, 531 Sussex Drive, right here in the heart of the Byward Market, which happens to be just across the courtyard from Oz Cafe, and I'm joined by its owner, Oz Balpinar. Oz, welcome. It's great to have you here. Uh, thanks for making the long trip over. <laughs> really appreciate it. Such a chore. <laughs> Oz, uh, tell me about uh, the beginning of, of your, you know, your love for the, the culinary world and, and the restaurant business. Uh, sure. It, I sort of happened to fall into the industry. I didn't necessarily grow up in it, um, but I'm, after living in Toronto and Vancouver, I moved back to Ottawa and uh, was sort of a bit... Um, you know, I noticed there was a bit of a lack of late night dining in Ottawa. Okay. So that was sort of when restaurants closed their kitchens at 8 or 9 during the week and maybe 10 p.m. on weekends. And as a, as a bit of a night owl, I found it a bit difficult to uh, consistently get good food in the city that wasn't, you know, fast food or so or a place to go and, you know, catch up with your friends that yeah. you haven't seen in a while. So Some Oz artisanal Cafe. cocktails a little bit later yeah, on. Yeah, and evening. it just yeah. kind of became a, a spot for go-to that became a, a bit of a hub for the industry folks that work till 11 in restaurants. You know, now they had a place to go to, to come and hang out and unwind their day that most people do at 6 p.m. We do at 11 or 12. It's so interesting you say that because you know how I was introduced to Oz Cafe? I was at another restaurant having a cocktail with my wife on their patio and, and, we, were, and we were just asking about, you know, where, where do you guys dine? You know, just having coffee. And they suggested we come to Oz Cafe and that's oh. how I was introduced <laughs> to your restaurant. This is a true story. Amazing. And it's, you know what also is, amazes me, Oz, is how closely knit the restaurant community is. Is that what you found over your In career? Ottawa, definitely. I think yeah. I don't think it's the same in other cities. I think it's getting better because restaurants have always been sort of highly competitive with each other, sort of peeking over to see what's on somebody's special board or menu board. And then when I sort of, um, I, I, when I came into the industry, I really noticed that there was a, a community of farmers, growers, restaurateurs, chefs, staff, like bartenders, uh, servers, sommeliers, and everyone is in it together, and especially in times like this when it's really evident, yeah, right? Because everyone is, the hospitality industry is suffering, and it's really nice to have people come up with ideas, and there's a, all sorts of sort of forums where people exchange ideas saying, this worked for me, or what's the cheapest way to get this item, or like, it's, it's been, yeah, everyone's yeah, sort of rallying so together, and it's, it's I think... That sense of community is really important and Absolutely. it's really nice to be a part of. Well, let's talk about uh, the food experience. Uh, tell me a little bit about your menu at Oz Cafe. Sure, of course. Our menu is, um, in the last three years, in our newer location, because we were previously on Elgin for 12 years, uh, in our new location, our chef has been uh, Chef Christine Hartling. She's been with us from day one in the spot across the way here. And her uh, training is, um, she, she's a graduate of the Algonquin Culinary okay. Studies Program, the Chef's Program. And her leanings are European-inspired, uh, but very much a seasonal, a short, concise menu with something for everyone. Uh, she pays a lot of attention to the sides as much as the stars of the dishes, which nice. is always a nice surprise in places. Yeah. Uh, and basically using a lot of the same suppliers a lot of our friend restaurants use, like Mariposa Farms, and uh, trying to support local as much as we can. So a lot of our, uh, everything is made in-house basically. Some of our uh, like cured meats come from Creel and Gambrel in Kingston. Um, which are fine artisanal, uh, you know, uh, cured meats. Like mm. I, I want to say salamis and sausages. Yeah. Um, well, let, let's talk about this. Uh, sure. you, you mentioned that, and cured meats are a part of the, you know, I think one of the most popular things you do is your charcuterie and cheese boards. And this is today's showstopper. So tell me a little bit about what we have on, sure, on, on the plate here. So we have some uh, salmon gravlax made in-house, cured for six days with dill and salt and... Uh, I'm trying to think <laughs> the other ingredient, yeah. uh, but our sort of house-made gravlax. We have um, a Calabrese, Italian uh, salami from Creel and Gram Grambrel in uh, Kingston. Uh, we have a duck rillette that's made with mariposa duck that's from so duck rillette. <laughs> we have a number of cheeses, so Quebec cheeses. We have a beef terrine here. Our beef comes from Enright Farms. Um, and then we have our little pickled vegetables, our chutneys, a smoked tomato chutney, uh, pickled Pickle, pickled pickles, pickled shallots, uh, pickled cauliflower, garlic, sca um, shallots, I said that already, yeah. raisins, and then, yeah, so it's a little plate of food that you can put together. You can, each item is sold separately, basically on the menu. Yeah, so you can build it yourself. You can build it right? yourself based on how hungry you are, how many people you're sharing with. 
uh, you know, how much cheese to meat or whatever you're interested in. Mm -hmm. And uh, it comes with all the accruements and uh, the sides, and you can. I think that's what makes yours unique, right? Is the fact that you can build it's your own. It's not pre-selected. Yeah, well, a lot of restaurants, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah. And, and you guys, and you've also brought some, some beautiful uh, bubbly over here and, and some craft beers. Again, I imagine that's part of the experience as well as, you know, local craft beers, and then you have a, a, a wonderful selection of wines. Yeah, and it just it makes a, a, a fun night out, whether it's just like you're coming in for that specifically or that's the beginning or the end of your dinner. Um, it allows people the option to you know, pick and choose as much or as little as they like. And we started to do a, lot, a fair bit of takeout, uh, which also, you know, everything shows up for you in the boxes and you can just put it out on your, you know, your platters at home right. and for your holiday entertaining with your, within your social bubble, of course. Um, but yeah, it's a, sort of a fun, fancy, Nice. Easy, I easy noticed meal. this bubbly is open. Maybe you should, you know, pour a couple of glasses. I shall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, of course, takeout and delivery. want to mention to everybody that, and, but you are closed. Is it Monday, Tuesday? Mondays and moment? Tuesdays at the moment. Right. Normally we're seven days a week, and normally we are, food, we are open till 2 a.m., including food, including our kitchen. Right. But the new COVID uh, restrictions were open till 9 p.m. I mean, done at 10. Uh, last call for food and drinks is at 9. Uh, and we've decided to take Mondays and Tuesdays off just to um, give our staff a break as well because we've had to cut back our staff. Uh, yeah, and you know, I, it, I know that's not easy for an owner to do. No, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult time for everybody. Uh, and you know, uh, the holidays just around the corner, uh, a gift card from one of your favorite restaurants, a, a, a great gift. I imagine you, you offer that as well. We do. We have some gift cards available in any denomination. And not just us, but a lot of great restaurants are offering that as well yeah. and you can do it electronically or you can physically go in and you know or have them mail it directly to where you want to send it to um, it's a really important uh, way to support local restaurants right now terrific Oz thanks so much for joining us really appreciate Thank it you, and I uh, want to mention again our showstopper look at this beautiful charcuterie platter that is our showstopper again all of those showstoppers throughout the show they'll be scrolling on the bottom of the screen so keep an eye on that and of course you can get those over at sheshopslocal.ca uh, let's head over to Tyler Keeley for a little bit more music. Tyler, take it away. You were missing out a shadow of a doubt. Learn to live without all that impedes you. Your head is hanging low. Stronger than you know, you fear of letting go. Well, not release you. You could ask anybody, you could ask anyone, but I believe in a good thing that is yet to come. I could remind you of love, I could provide you with what you deprive yourself of all the time. is up against the walls that you invent they talk and tease you all that I propose is narrowing your scope draw your bow and arrow and in the please you can't save everybody you couldn't save everyone but I believe in a good thing that is yet to come I could remind you of love I could provide you in the world Watching a special edition of Operation Support Local presents Showstoppers. I hope you've been watching the bottom of your screen because our fabulous Showstoppers have been scrolling along there. So keep an eye out during the entire episode. Uh, this, of course, in collaboration with Catherine Landry's SheShopsLocal.ca. I'm pleased to introduce our next guest, 
and she smells fantastic, and that's for a reason. Julie Dorian joins me. She is the owner and maker of Undercarriage Deodorant. Welcome to the show. Thank it's great you. to have you Thank here. You. Thanks for what having me. What is that lovely smell? Coconut the... lime. It's a coconut yes, lime? I thought so. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, this is a really unique business you have. So I want yeah. to know, what was your inspiration for Undercarriage Deodorant? Um, I, my whole household, we were to no toxic chemicals at all, no cleaners, nothing. And I guess the last thing in our lives uh, where it was, you know, we'd get out of the shower, dry off, and we'd put on a stick deodorant from the drugstore. Right. And for years, it really bothered me, and I said, I, I, I want to do something about it. Natural deodorants started popping up. You know, I tried some and abandoned them after about, a, you know, after a few weeks. Right. And I thought, after years of this, I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to make our own. And uh, so we started mixing, not with the intent of selling or making oh, this really? business. Okay. Okay. And it was just for my family and some friends. And because of my background in marketing and branding, I decided to put a focus group together and started sending all these batches out over nine months. And when we got to 24 hours order free, I thought, that's it. That's it. We're gonna. I got, let's I got do me something. a business yeah, over we here, have a business. right? Yeah. And I think yeah. you know that that's interesting because I think that's something we forget, right? We spray all over surfaces. We clean like crazy. You know, we're putting right. hand sanitizer more than we ever expected in our entire lives now, uh, but we forget that the things that we're putting on our skin, uh, we actually Absorb is actually it. absorbing mm -hmm. it into our body, right? right? And that, I guess that was one of the main focuses for you. Right. It disrupts hormone function. Um, there's there's a lot of reasons to use a natural deodorant. Uh, natural deodorants are tricky. Um, you, some people do go through a seven day to let's say a three week detox, depending how many toxins are up in their, their you skin. You can say armpits, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think we're allowed to say that and, on uh, television. Yeah. And also depending on your pH level, we do have different formulas. So we'll have okay. a regular formula and then we'll have a baking soda free. Okay, right. so some people will try natural deodorant, they'll get a little rash, they'll get itchy and they say, forget it, I'm not using this. And it's because they'll have trouble with the baking soda. So try a no a baking soda free version. Right. And that'll usually rectify that problem. And, you, 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 yeah. you briefly mentioned your background as well, Julie, right. uh, you know, helping with this. So tell me, what, what is your background? So uh, uh, d graphic design. Um, okay. So I had a company, uh, worked at a Museum of Science and Tech when I was 20, 30 years ago. And um, then we started a company, all the young designers. And that, yeah. And that's helped to obviously, you know, yeah, launch we, we this, did toy right? pack. I did toy packaging for 10 years. We worked for Discovery Channel stores in the U.S., Marshalls, Target. Wow. We did a lot of design work, a lot of catalogs, retail, wholesale, um, branded companies for doing shows around the States, usually wholesale. So I had a lot of background with the wholesale and retail aspects. So right. when I did this, it kind of was second nature. I was going to say, yeah. it's an easy launch yeah, for you was, to, to do any business. Yeah, and right. again, as I said, this is a very you know unique style of business. Uh, you know, we're, we're talking about the holiday season on this right. show as well. So uh, have you got anything special for the holidays lined up? Do you have like little gift packs? Uh, tell me what you um, got. Well, so for Showstoppers, we're doing a full size and a travel together. Okay. And that's, that'll retail. That's, yeah, that's our showstopper for today. That's our showstopper right there. Fantastic. Okay. I love it. Yeah. And, uh, but for the holidays, I mean, we, we're in about 70 retail stores right now. So we're, okay. we're busy uh, keeping them stocked up um, as long as we can. Um, when the pandemic hit, uh, wholesale, just everyone closed down, right? So it was kind of scary for a few weeks. And then all these stores starting reordering, people are shopping, uh, everyone all these big retailers have websites, so we're busy Excellent. getting yeah, getting well, product out to them. And yeah. You got your pit packs. Pit packs. I saw that online. Uh, What's yeah, a pit we have that on. Uh, a pit pack is uh, it's a uh, it's a travel size, three travel sizes in our in our top three cents. Okay. And you can buy it in regular or baking soda free. Excellent. And then and we you, also. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to oh, grab that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just show this to camera here. So what is what is this exactly? So we have two vegan formulas as well. Uh, they come in lemon sage, very popular this year, and uh, geruli, which is geranium, patchouli, and grapefruit. Great set. patchouli. Yeah. I, you know what? I smell it. I, I love that set. Can I open it? <laughs> oh, this Can is I lemon sage. I've got the mask on. Oh, yeah, so you know what? Okay. I'll wait till afterwards, okay. and I'll and I'll have a smell of it. And I was also on on your website. Do you do lip balm as well? Am oh, I, am um, right? that's one of our add-ons. Okay. Um, it's a it's a, a a little company that works with us, 
and yeah. Oh, I see. So that's just like a, sometimes if you're just, a good customer, you'll yeah. throw it in. Yes, we do. I yeah, love it. For sure. Uh, yeah. Gift cards as well at gift this cards, time of year? Yeah, we always say uh, give a gift that doesn't stink, right? <laughs> so a gift card's easy. And then they can pick their own scents and their own formulation, right? So that's right. very important. Uh, you mentioned, you know, testing. Of course, you had family and friends you know, help you out with the testing and so forth. But, you know, just the regular customers, what kind of feedback are you getting? What sort of reviews are you getting? Um, well, we have we have a lot. It's a consumable product, so we have a lot of return customers. Right. Um, a jar is going to last you four to six months, and we see oh, them really? buying and buying and buying. And we do a lot of shows um, in Ontario, around Ontario, so tr mostly Toronto now. Um, and yeah, all those oh. customers have come back. Yeah, and before I run out of time, you're, a lot of cyclists are buying your product as well, right? right? So you you actually apply it um, anywhere you perspire and or chafe, right? So okay. under here, under here, between here, you can actually wear it as an odor killer for your feet as well. Excellent. Right? Yeah, yeah, so that chafing from cyclists, I would imagine even runners and cyclists, right. uh, it, yeah. it's, it's quite popular. A lot of police with officers, uh, firefighters under all their gear. Uh, yeah, it keeps them cool. fresh. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I want to remind everybody, of course, of our showstopper. It is the full size and travel size. And of course, if you want any of our showstoppers, you'll see at the bottom of your screen, it'll constantly scroll those showstoppers throughout the show. And you head over to sheshopslocal.ca to get a hold of one of those showstoppers. Uh, I've I've introduced you, of course, to Tyler Keeley. He's been playing throughout. Let's walk over and actually have a little conversation with him and find out what he's been up to these days. You've been enjoying the talents of Tyler Keeley throughout the show, and of course, he's going to be playing some more throughout the show, but I thought we'd take this chance to catch up to him. Hey, How are it's you? been a while, my friend. No kidding. Yeah. How have you been? I've got two kids now. How about that? Unbelievable. Last Beautiful time you young saw me. family. Yeah, yeah. I got a, a seven year old, Julian, and a three year old. Maybe Ollie. So. And are they picking up some of Dad's uh, musical yeah. talents already? Yeah, you know, um, since uh, you know, since the pandemic pandemic began, my uh, seven year old's been playing drums with me online. Nice. And the, the uh, three year old is just doing like uh, they both do this beatboxing thing with their mouth while they're playing with toys. And I'm thinking there's potential there. I might have a rhythm section <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you mentioned the pandemic and online. I imagine, you know, that's something you'd have, you've had to turn to. Yeah. Have you been doing, able to do virtual shows for people? Yeah, I think when it started, I, I started investing in a little bit of equipment and uh, trying to think about doing that uh, live streams just to, uh, just to first to say hi to people and uh, generate a bit of income, but just, just um, kind of also, you know, as, uh, as a player and as a singer, you know, keep your, your chops up because not playing and not singing you know that's all muscle and muscle memory so just to just to keep a bit of normalcy for uh, for me as a musician and then bring that out to people who are uh, who are in need of some music yeah and i know you love that audience you know experience right i mean you really play off the audience that's something you must miss and can't wait to yeah. get back to yeah it's not the same you know like i think anybody who's doing them will admit well it's fun to to play um you know, uh, like somebody like Dave Khalil, who I've been playing with for yeah. nearly uh, 18 years or whatever, uh, he'd say the same thing. He's doing live streams and you, you're, you're projecting music out, but you do feed off of, you know, people. Like we're yeah, doing well, right I'm now. doing it right now. <laughs> Imagine so that. You're, you're a real you. human it's being. Yeah. You're a right real there. person. Yeah. And yeah. Your, your latest single is, is actually based on, on the pandemic. Right? Yeah. I, uh, I, I got home from a vacation in uh, Costa Rica with my family and had to quarantine for... 14 days that's uh when it when and stuff all began and so i started um i started quickly writing about what was going on around me and the song kind of focuses on uh looking at things that people are doing that are positive you know amidst nice. the obvious negative well, i'll stuff. let you play a bit of that for okay, us okay it's all great right. to see you great to see you too take all it right. away tyler Thanks. i want to hold you get through to you somehow and have i told you how much you mean right now i wish you could hold me feel the touch of my fingertips because nobody told me there would be days like this you put your hand on the window pane and we talk through the glass of wine 
You made a joke and I laughed You were six feet back But close enough to catch a smile In the hands of humanity There's an effort combining We can win this one If we can follow the sun And the silver lining We're living day to day We keep ourselves occupied Heavy on the mind waves, the sick and the ones who die. But you read the headlines just like the rest of us. The good news is a gold mine. We need to invest in us. I got a call from a friend of mine. I said it's so good to hear from you. And we talked like we had all the time in the world And for once it was true You see the heroes on the front lines Good people inviting Stay inside if it saves the light And keep looking for the silver lining The following program contains products that some viewers may find amazing. Viewer participation and supporting of local businesses is strongly advised. We continue on with Operation Support Local Presents Showstoppers. I hope you've been paying attention to all the wonderful showstoppers we've had so far. I also want to mention this beautiful venue we're at. Alpha Art Gallery, located at 531 Sussex Drive. If you have an art lover on one of your Christmas list, your Hanukkah list, come on down here and, and check them out. It's just a beautiful space to be in and, and come by and, and, and really enjoy all of the beautiful art and the fantastic artists. Well, I mentioned showstoppers. Our next guest has probably one of my favorite showstoppers so far. I am joined by Jackie Bonilla. She is the owner of Fruit Couture. Jackie, great to see you again. It's been, what, seven years since yes, we've seen it each has. other. Thank you so much for having me. It's a again. pleasure. <laughs> oh, well, so yeah, you've been in business for seven years, but yes. I, I love this idea. I believe you were in university yes. when this idea came to mind and you were inspired by it. Was it it's something you created for a friend? Yes, so she is actually now my sister in law. It was a baby shower and it was an owl theme that she had and so I created a fruit sculpture for her and I had so much fun doing it and I'm like oh and it makes such a great gift I need to continue doing it so that's uh, and so I that's all you know th that was the beginning of it then of course you know you've grown the business since then so tell me you know uh, take me back to that time how many products you may have had you know available to customers to where you are today okay so when I first started I must have uh, had only three, four products, and now I have about 80 available on the website, which range from fruit arrangements, gift boxes, and uh, dip treats, macaroons, anything your heart desires. Nice. <laughs> well, let's, let's first of all start off because, you know, that's where the business began, uh, the fruit sculptures themselves. Uh, tell me a little bit about them and, and how, how you go about creating them and, and putting them together. So the fruit sculptures, uh, usually they're more customized, okay. whereas these fruit arrangements, they are um, available on the website and so they're bouquets where we do next day delivery. Everything that is ordered is made the same day, everything is always fresh. So you'll usually uh, in the arrangement see dipped strawberries, pineapples, a variety of melons, oranges, and um, a bunch of fresh fruit. Nice, yeah. very nice. Uh, let, let's walk, I mean, because you brought uh, some on display here today, so let's, let's walk through a few of them here. What have we got up front here? Okay, so these are the holiday pretzel rods. We introduced these, uh, this box this year, actually, for 2020. It's a box of uh, 10 Christmas-themed pretzel rods and it makes a great uh, gift. We can also, if you call us, we can do it as a stocking stuffer and just do two in a pack. Oh, very yeah. nice. <laughs> and uh, this is something special you wanted to highlight on, on today's show. What have we got up yes. front here? Okay, this is a very exciting item. It's okay. our hot chocolate bomb. Uh, our hot chocolate bombs. They Don't come... put this in the tub. No, no. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> they come in a pack of four. <laughs> 
And how it works is that you place one of the hot chocolate bombs in your mug, and then you heat up your milk, and then you pour the hot milk into your mug, and then as you're pouring it, the marshmallows start to pop out oh, along with uh, the hot chocolate inside, and then you just stir it and you enjoy it. It's very chocolatey, it's very delicious, and we have four flavors right now. <laughs> do, you, do you serve them as a pack, or can you buy them individually as well? Right now they're sold as a pack on okay. our website, but if you wanted them individually, you can also just call us and um, we can do that for you. Can I tell you the flavors? Yes, okay. yes, please, walk We me have uh, Mexican hot chocolate, okay. we have candy cane, salted caramel, and, uh, sorry, this one is Mexican hot chocolate and this one is candy cane. <laughs> oh, very nice, excellent. Uh, let's talk about our showstopper because uh, you know I'm a kid at heart. Yes. We've met before, yes. I get excited for anything, right? But this one I think is one of the best showstoppers we've had so far, you, you have to describe this here. Well, this one is exciting because it's uh, called the Moneymaker Chocolate Heartbreaker which uh, we collaborated on with Catherine Landry, who is doing the Showstopper. Um, yeah, the SheShopsLocal.ca she shops is where people can find this, yes. right? Yes, and uh, what you do is you grab the mallet, and yeah, then... Yeah, it even comes with its own little mallet yes. here. Yes, and then what we're hoping is that this 2021 box will, you know, bring good fortune for the new year. Um, it's, and, it's got the money sign money here, sign. right? Yes, yes, hopefully. Want to bring some money your way, right? So, so what you do is you break it with the mallet, and then inside you'll find some goodies. Very nice. <laughs> I love, and what, what, what's beside it here? What do we have uh, We have chocolate-dipped Oreos with uh, some with gold sprinkles and the gold, uh, the dollar. Very nice. On it. Uh, finally, what do we have here in front of us? This is also a new one for this year. It's the, the um, Christmas tree box. And it features um, chocolate-covered marshmallows, uh, chocolate-covered Oreos, mm -hmm. and chocolate-covered strawberries. Excellent. Uh, I want to talk. So another thing you're famous for, and I, I remember going back as your strawberry towers. Yes. Do you still have those? Because oh, they're yeah. absolutely beautiful. I love the towers. Thank they look so you. Beautiful. We do still have them, uh, also available on our website, fruitcouture.ca, and uh, we make them pretty much for every. Uh, occasion but mostly I find like weddings and anniversaries they yeah, tend to go out showers, baby maybe showers that kind of yes. thing. yeah yeah uh, you yeah. also have I know specifically you know you, you also cater and customize gifts for him and gifts for her as well right uh, yes we do that uh, so if you have something in mind that you'd like to uh, have made for him then we can work with you to create that idea you have but also on our website you'll see that we have a section for his and her gifts, um, but pretty much, you know, both genders like yeah. chocolate. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think you can go yeah, wrong. It yeah, doesn't really matter, wrong. right? It's good. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves them. Uh, uh, how far in advance? I know this is a busy time of year for you, so how far in advance do you suggest people order online? So you may be surprised, but we do next day delivery if orders are placed before 5 p.m. Okay. Um, I would say, though, like closer to Christmas, like the 23rd, uh, we normally tend to book up within the, the week, so okay. um, maybe a week before. Excellent. <laughs> I want to remind everybody that's uh, fruitcouture.ca, and I'm, can I smash this? Yes, I've can been I? waiting for you to okay. do it. Okay, I want to smash this. Okay. This is our showstopper, by, by the way. It's the Heartbreaker Piñata Box. It's going to give you good luck Available and good fortune. She shops. <laughs> she shops local.ca. Look at this. How much fun is it? What's inside? Look! Chocolate covered strawberries. Absolutely with amazing. Gold glitter. Again, scrolling at the bottom of your screen, sheshopslocal.ca is the place to go. This is going to bring you good luck and good fortune. Uh, let's head over to Tyler Keeley for a little more entertainment. I met you at the baseball diamond. It's where I've seen your face before I had to recollect back then But now I'm sure Go if you think you can make it A great place to just touch base I made my way around that diamond Learning as I paced I thought the sun revolved around the moon Revolved
revolved around my life, revolved around the baseball diamond. Seemed like we had been there every year or so. I thought the sun revolved around the moon, revolved around my life, revolved around the baseball diamond. If I knew you would be there, then I'd go. I thought the sun revolved around the moon, revolved around my life, revolved around the baseball diamond. It seemed like we had been there every year or so. I thought the sun revolved around the moon, revolved around my life, revolved around the baseball diamond. If I knew you would be there, then I'd go. We continue on in this beautiful space at Alpha Art Gallery and this special edition of Operation Support Local presents Showstoppers, of course, in collaboration with Catherine Landry's SheShopsLocal.ca. Got another fantastic showstopper for you coming up, but let me introduce her to you first. Joanne Rogers joins me. She is the owner of Kitty Cobbler Stitzville. How you doing? I'm great, thank you. Thank you, you so much for having me here I today. I love the outfits. You like this? And yes, yes, we will yes. get to that. The Hatley. We will get <laughs> yes. to that in just a few yes. minutes. But I, I wanted to talk about Kitty Cobbler. It's been around forever. Um, this is just a great spot for, for parents to bring their kids. And you know, you're known for your shoes and I imagine winter boots are probably the, all the rage right now. Yes. But tell me a little bit about your, your philosophy when it, when it comes to kids and and shoes and boots and the proper fit. Yeah, so uh, I own the location in Stittsville, but we are uh, a few locations in the Ottawa area. So we have the Orleans, um, Westboro, uh, Robout in um, Saint Laurent, and we have Sean in Barhaven. So any one of those stores can help you. Uh, yeah. But yes, we are all about the fit. Customers come in, we measure the child. It's full one-on-one uh, -on -one service that you get, and we measure kids feet and then we produce the product that matches the foot so now, it's why all is about that so important right because some parents yeah. just bring their kids in and oh you know Susie or Billy they're a size you know whatever yeah. three yeah it's more it takes more than that doesn't it it does um, footwear is really important we're on our feet a lot uh, we deal with a lot of younger kids and it's really important when the kids are younger to get them a good shoe fit we just can't shove any foot into any shoe right um, and having that stability uh, having you know, a proper shoe that fits, helps with development with the foot as they start to get older right. too. Right, and yeah. lifestyle too. Oh, I imagine absolutely. those are sort of the types of questions that you're, that you're asking parents, yeah. right? Yeah, we do a little bit of a fact-finding session with the customers when they come in. So, especially for something like a winter boot, um, you know, if they live um, in an environment where they need a super warm boot or maybe not such a warm boot, uh, more of a waterproof boot, that type of thing. Yeah. So we'll tailor our, the product that we suggest to them based on the answers that they give to us. Yeah. Well, while we're talking feet and yeah. we're talking shoes, I want to mention the charity yes. that, that you deal with. Tell me a little bit about your charity. Yeah, so I have a charity called Shoes on Their Feet. It's a charity that I started a couple of years ago. Um, I was getting requests from the community to provide shoes to children who didn't have any. So right. that's kind of where this came into play. Uh, I'm a triathlete um, and am training for an Ironman next year. And I wanted to incorporate my um, charity into getting kids active. So the whole thing behind Shoes on Their Feet is to get kids active in sports while we put shoes on their feet to do so. How can people so, get involved with the charity? Um, you can reach out to me on my Facebook page, uh, at Kitty Cobbler Stittsville, okay. or we have a Facebook page for, well, we, I, have a, uh, a Facebook page called Shoes on Their Feet. Um, and yeah, I have a couple of su suppliers that work with me that help uh, giving, by giving me discounted product. 
so that um, I'm able to pass this on to the customers that customers or people in in the community that need it. You'd be surprised the amount of need that there is in in the community. Yeah. Stittsville, Canada, Elmont, Carlton Place, um, all those areas. So it's really really nice to be able to help out. Well, let's talk yeah. onesies because you're yeah. wearing our showstopper, yes. right? Yes, uh, So absolutely. tell me about the Hatley onesies. So Hatley is a, a brand that we deal with, Canadian, and um, this is kind of a division of, um, Hatley's known for their rainwear, um, okay. and it's phenomenal stuff. Uh, this is uh, um, a division of that called Little Blue House, and they do these Christmas pajamas, and they are the funnest thing. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, we're in COVID time, so what better time to get together with your family and everybody wear matching pajamas all nice and cozy and spend some time together, you know, just having fun. So you're offering this uh, as our showstopper. You yeah. can either buy it individually yeah. or you can do like a family pack, right? Yeah, so we have them from baby sizes, so little uh, baby infant sizes, and we go all the way up to an extra large in adult sizes. They're, they're so much yeah. fun. Christmas morning, everybody wearing them. I said to you too so in fun. this pattern, right? If you're oh, a yeah. Red Blacks fan, yeah, my, right? this is perfect. They got the lumberjack <laughs> yes. look. It's fantastic. Oh yeah, my son wears this, and it'll be like March, and I'll go upstairs and I'll find um, sitting there all nice and cozy <laughs> playing Fortnite or something. All right, so, so we talk, I want to just remind everyone: yes. SheShopsLocal.ca yes. to get a hold of your showstopper from Kitty Cobbler Stitzville. Let's yes. talk about some of the other like. These are just so yeah, beautiful, as so, you said, you know, around Christmas, yeah, uh, they're, they're holiday adorable. season. Within, often oh, on the back side, they have something, yes, yeah, so the cute. Backside's yeah, cute. yeah. It's great. Look the at this. kids love to wear them. It's the dads so much. I should have, we, we should have yeah, outfitted you. Yeah, should have outfitted me for so sure. So the dads sometimes put them on and... Just yeah, turn like that around too. they're Look at so that adorable. Merry Christmas on they the wear bottom. really well. They wash well. Um, and they're just they're the nice. they're the funnest thing for everybody to be together and all you know looking together. It's great for kids to see everybody doing that together. Well, too, and a right? it's, it's yeah. such a great photo yeah. too, right? Yeah. If you get the matching yeah. with the with yeah. the whole family. Yeah. And of course, you have the regular pajamas, right? The separate bottoms and tops as well. Yeah, we have the onesies and then the two-piece pajamas. Um, those ones are really fun at the end too. They have um, these ones here. Name. Yeah, and you can even get the dog involved. This one is oh, for yeah. the for the family pet, uh, it's a little, <laughs> that's for a smaller pet. Yeah. It wouldn't fit my yeah. dog. That's but. probably my Jack Russell yes. could fit in yeah, that, or right? my Maltese, yeah. right? Yeah. It's yeah. perfect. And yeah. I want to talk about these little things you brought along. Look at how, and yeah. I don't little know, you can't tell, if only we had touch and feel television. <laughs> I know. But they are the softest They're things. super soft. They're so great. Yeah, little reindeers and. Oh yeah, pass uh, me over these all here. All the I little girls these. love. Look at these, if these it little has unicorn. a unicorn, mermaid, or a rainbow on it, let me tell you, the little girls go, <laughs> and boys go, crazy for that kind of stuff. These uh, are adorable. You couldn't bring everything, obviously. No. Uh, but <laughs> what else do you showcase at Kitty Cobbler? So we are, we try, we pride ourselves in being a, a one-stop shop. So we do, this time of the year, we would be doing your boots, um, your winter jackets. We do, I have a huge selection of mitts and I carry mitts going right into March when parents come in looking for that kind of stuff and most stores yeah. have turned over to spring by then. Oh, and you know, you, the child has mis, misplaced <laughs> the one pair of mitts, you know, out of the six that they have. Uh, so we have those uh, all, all season long, uh, hats, mitts, jackets. Um, yeah, so it's literally one stop shop for yeah, winter. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, Absolutely. I know, it's wonderful. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you mentioned the mitts because you need those until March. Yeah. Because as you said, the yeah. kids are gonna lose them. Well, thank you so oh, much for thank joining you. us. Really, I really appreciate, appreciate it. it again. Our showstopper is the fabulous Hatley onesie. You can get out of the one, or of course, a family pack. You head over to sheshopslocal.ca for our showstopper. Don't forget, we'll have the other showstoppers scrolling along the bottom of your screen. Let's head over to Tyler Keeley. And so this is Christmas. And what have we done? Another year over. just begun and so happy Christmas we hope you have fun the near and the dear ones the old and the young a very merry Christmas and a happy new year let's hope it's 
it's a good one without any fee and so this is Christmas but we can for strong the rich and the poor ones the road is so long and so happy Christmas And a happy new year Let's hope it's a good one Without any fear enjoying this special edition of Operation Support Local presents Showstoppers, of course, in collaboration with SheShopsLocal.ca. Keep your eye out on the bottom of your screen for those showstoppers throughout, and we're going to introduce our next guest. Her name is Courtney LaDuke. She is the owner of Good Clean Fun Decor. Courtney, welcome to the show. Thank great to have so you much. here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And what a great conversation we've had. You're like the most <laughs> multi-talented person I have ever met in my life. You do a little bit of everything, and you're saying that you kind of fell into this business. So tell me a little bit about this business and how it came to be. Absolutely. So my partner and I, were both artists. I'm a professional makeup artist uh, for 14 years, and he's a painter. And um, we're always looking for new ways to experience art. So I do macrame, I knit. Um, and then one day we're like, let's, let's try making candles. And the next thing you know, good, clean, fun decor is born. <laughs> and that started back in 2018. And then yes. you've kind of relaunched it, right? Yeah. In, uh, within the last few months. Absolutely. So we had originally started just to hold some, some candles that we really like, experience new talent. Um, and uh, after you know the quarantine, we're like, you want to what? We should make these. We'll make our own. And uh, you know, since August, it's definitely blown up. We've definitely uh, grown. We're in multiple retailers. We have our new website. So congratulations! Thank you. You know what I thought was intriguing too? I just reading some of the information on your website is that you you source a lot of things locally. And Absolutely. I thought to myself, well, you're making candles. <laughs> I mean, what else besides wax are you sourcing locally? So uh, tell me a little bit what goes into creating one of these. Absolutely. So the glassware is generally recycled. Um, we do all of our printing locally. We do, uh, or even our packaging comes locally. Um, we make everything right in our kitchen. Um, so we take over that space. I feel bad for my roommate. I'm sorry. Um, and we kind of put it all together. Well, walk me through. Let's start on the yeah. far left here and, and tell me what you brought along here today. Absolutely. So these are our Pride Unity candles. They are um, two pillars connected by one wick. It's supposed to represent um, unbreakable bond of love. Nice. Um, they're uh, done in rainbow colors and we'll also be doing the trans flag in the new year as okay. well, which is really exciting. And next up, I was saying when I was on the website, this was kind of one of the wow factors for me that you guys do. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me what it is. Yeah, these are our tarts. They come in vanilla and apple pie scent. Um, they we have kind of more realistic. This is our fall colors. We have our um, original, and we also have the kind of gothic colors. Is as it well. like painstaking to do get all the colors? You know, because it's a real, it's a real. I imagine you use a mold of some kind. Uh, multiple molds for okay. this one, actually. Yeah, and we do our best to kind of keep it all organized. I try to make all the bits and bobbles ahead of time, so it's just assembly. But you know, people are always requesting um, really fun um, and unique custom items that I would never expect. So you ever. do do custom. So, oh, so people will call you up and. And oh, what's yeah. the strangest thing someone's asked you for? I keep it clean. It's a family <laughs> show. Um, I don't know about the strangest thing, but our showstopper has actually grown because of a custom. Okay, well, let's talk about really the cool. showstopper then. Yeah. What have you got here? Uh, so our showstopper is our milk and cookies candle, which is this one here. Okay. That is the original, which is our latte scent. Um, nice. And then as of the custom, uh, someone specifically wanted Oreos. So we've brought in that as the option as well. These are vanilla scented um, candles with a latte scented cookie. Okay. And the whole idea behind um, this candle is to make it a holiday ritual. Right. So it comes with a little poem 
It says, Christmas candle burning bright, guiding Santa sleigh tonight. Milk and cookies, joy and cheer. Light this flame and bring him here. Oh, and so you light cool. the flame and you have Santa come find his way to your home. That is lovely. You can do it every year. Um, but I think it's just, there's a lot of romance behind So the cookies one. and cream is our showstoppers. Absolutely. I just want to remind everybody at home, those showstoppers are scrolling on the bottom of your screen as well for previous guests. But you can go to sheshopslocal.ca to purchase that. Let's move over here because I, you know, also coming off of Halloween, you know, <laughs> just a little while back, I, I imagine these were very popular Absolutely. around Halloween. Tell me about these guys. Yeah. It looks like it takes you forever for these. These are incredible. <laughs> They're just gorgeous. So we're what I like to call a country goth um, okay. decor company. We started with these candles here, which are called our Bona Lisa skulls. Okay. Um, these um, are popular all year, though. Goth people celebrate the holidays as well. And these are our holiday scents. So we have um, Christmas tree, we have vanilla, this is cinnamon bun, and this one here is peppermint. Um, and they are just absolutely gorgeous. When they burn, the inside of the candle here, where it's um, indented, yeah. that burns first, and the filigree stays, and you can actually see the light burning behind its eyes. Um, just stunningly gorgeous. Yeah, that is brilliant. <laughs> and I want to talk about this as well. This is yeah. the advent yes. one, Christmas tree. Absolutely. And, and you can actually take these out, right? Yeah, these so, little pieces. Exactly. So it does burn. Um, you can burn it all the way through. There's two wicks that go through. Uh, or you can um, take out the uh, charms inside and put them in your wax warmers. Because they're all scented as they well, They are all right? scented as well. Very yeah. Nice. And it's just absolutely stunning. But honestly, no one ever burns my candles. They always go, it's so beautiful. <laughs> they're going to stay forever. <laughs> I can see why. And tell me about these cute little guys. Oh, they're just got... some like very cute decor that we have available as well, for sure. Everything's just, you know, uh, it's exciting times for us here. And I've really been excited fun. too because uh, local businesses has really been helping you out as well. You're about oh to partner gosh. up, I think, with another local business. Absolutely. Tell me about those collaborations and how important they've been for you. Oh, completely the, the most amazing city in the world is Ottawa. Yeah. Um, we have been just so blessed with partnerships. We're, you know, we're in Paul's Vintage, we're in Covenant Consignment. Uh, we've joined on with Bliss Sook, Antiques, Treasures and Treats, they're in Umpire, and uh, we just joined on with Milk, which is really exciting. Um, and obviously, uh, She Shops Local, which has been just so, so kind and generous and giving us some, you know, all the support that we need to launch our you know, our very new business. So, yeah, yeah, congratulations. Thank I mean, you. I can't say enough. And of course, people can find all of these products and, and, and more online on your on your website, Absolutely, correct? absolutely. So our website is www.goodcleanfundecor.com and you can find us on Instagram as well. Terrific. Thank yeah. you so much for joining Thank us. Really you. appreciate Thank it. I want to remind everyone that our milk and cookies candle, this is our showstopper right here. Again, the showstoppers have been on the bottom of your screen. So if you want any of those, you head over to She Shops Local. I want to give a, a bunch of thank yous. Speaking of a showstopper, our producer Stan Newton has been working his butt off putting the, the show together. Of course, Catherine Landry and the crew that's helped us out. And Alpha Art Gallery, located at 531 Sussex Drive. It's just a beautiful space. Come down if you have an art lover on your list. Come down and have a look around. They have some beautiful pieces available. Thanks so much for watching this special edition of Operation Support Local Presents Showstoppers.